out, there's a jungle out, there's a there's a there's a jungle out, there's a jungle out, there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe on your home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always beeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's King. a jungle out there and the hunted There's a jungle out there and the hunted on There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on a jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home Be safe when you're streets It's a cold place Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen, this is Crime Watch and we're back Top of the evening to you, all those of you who are locked on the line Especially good evening to you Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 10th of February Our murder toll, murder toll in Trinidad And Tobago it's just, hmm, it's 66. And it's just the 10th of February. Just imagine that. Our murder toll in this country is 66. And it is just the 10th of February. 738 persons contracted COVID. According to the Ministry of Health, 4 p.m. update. Boy, I tell you, is this place crazy? 738 persons. Do you know how many people in this country, in Trinidad, in Trinidad and Tobago, who is self, who is in self-isolation? We have approximately, not approximately, but this is what they know or statistics. 19,868. 19,868 persons right now. Just imagine that. And in state quarantine, they have 49, 41 persons. We had six deaths today, six. You know, there's a twenty thousand dollars reward for the for the the inform, in, information with the rare boss with respect to the Filipino. Like a Benaz, who has been missing since December the twenty since the December month. She was last she disappeared on the tenth of December. We don't know if this girl gone up. But we don't know if this girl gone down. And you know what is sad? Somebody knows something. Somebody know. Somebody knows something. But nobody's talking. But what is frightening? Eh? What is frightening? You have so much, so many women out there taking taxis, commuting to work. I you know it have people, it have maybe might have young girls and people with cars that when they see young girls traveling. You know, sometimes they kind of rank on them now. You know, people like that, that they kind of break a little style, they sit down in their fancy car, or you see some girls by the, by the taxi stand waiting, and you, you, you know, you, you in your car, but you're, you know, you're, you're ranking now. But, I mean, they're just sad. People just like to do that. Just coast with the car now. They're so frightening yeah, that, some, that, that some of you, so, you know, so many girls out there, have to have to commute to work. Sometimes you take a taxi and you do not even know the monster who's driving that car. You don't know. And you and sometimes you might say, well, I take a car with people. People could drop out and people could be set up. I have seen where I have seen where women connected to the robbery also. Yeah. Connected, they connected. And they will drop out somewhere and driver take you and go. And so you might see a woman in a car, a driver, and a male occupant. And you might say, nah, it's safe. It have a woman in the car. Don't take those chances. Yesterday, when I look at, at, at the uh, amount of women missing in this country, 
who we just can't find. Who was found? Well, just to let you know, Karishma Dear Narayan was found. If you can remove this CG bar, please. She was just found. She's alive. Also, strange enough, Dominic Joseph was found also, as well. Remember, they said Dominic went missing. But where these girls going? And just after they're finding them. Well, it's a good thing they're finding them, and they're finding them alive. Hiles is still missing, the 14 year old of Upper Bush Street. Giles Hiles, 14 of Upper Bush Street, San Juan. Up to this day, we can't find this boy. It was last seen only on, on the 2nd of the 2nd, 2022. People, children, missing boy. Luisa Gamaro, 16 of Hermitage Road, Belmont. She was last seen on the 7th at the second month. Also, Heather Gopichan, 63 of 12th Street, Barataria, was last seen. If you have any information, and just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, They found today uh, skeletal remains of, hu of, of a human was found in some burned bushes at Ghani Trace, Pussy Ranch Road, Shagornas. These are exclusive footage. But apparently, I'm not seeing any bones. Or oh, they have bones. Head and bones. Yeah, they have a skull. Is that a bushfire in the area? No, but that person was not burnt by that bushfire. They were dead already. Because if that person was, was burned by that bushfire, they would have see, still see fleshy remains. Yeah. Hmm. Open up the lines for me. You know, a private autopsy, ladies and gentlemen, was done by pathologist Professor Hubert Daisley on the body of 21-year Katisha Kojo. That's the, that's the young girl who was found in the heights of a, um, a repo. She was found on the 28th of January. And I always tell you, let me tell you something. I don't believe nobody findings. Eh? Listen to me. I don't believe nobody findings. Like how I have confidence in Professor Hubert Daisley. I'm my personal friend. Personal, 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 personal friend. And I just didn't call him because I know he must be, you know, he's still grieving because he lost his son. Yeah, he lost his son to COVID. So it must be really hard for him. I right? kind of give him that space, but it's something else. But he apparently, um, just to let you know, he did, a, he, 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 did, he did an autopsy, a private autopsy done by pathologist Professor Hubert Daisley on the body of 21-year-old Katisha Kojo revealed she died of a blunt force trauma to the head. You know, a blunt force trauma to the head is similar to Andrea Barrett, right? Yeah? Similar. Similar to Andrea Barrett. Let's imagine that. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, Kojo, the young girl, was beaten on the head with a blunt object. Who really? What kind of mad thing is this, boy? Tell me, what kind of mad thing is this? What kind of mad thing is this? That, that they, they beat this girl on her head with a blunt object. Kojo was last seen alive on January 24th 
and a semi-nude decomposing body was from the heights of a repo. In fact, just to let you know, Kojo, an attendant at a gas station at Sukur, was last seen leaving her friend at a lime in Belmont at about 7 p.m. on January 24th. She's an attendant at a gas station in El Socorro. Was last seen leaving her friends at a line. But the bigger picture is who she left with. Who she left with. But you know, the 24, the Monday, residents heard screams. Yeah. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Today was a funeral, you know. Today was a funeral. Go ahead. In fact, they, they, they had a closed kit, a closed casket funeral. Wow. A Denise funeral. That's the same people that, they, they are the owners of the, um, the funeral, um, the, the, the hearse that. Hmm. So you don't know if it's a taxi she took, you don't know what. If it's a hired car, you don't know what. This could be your daughter photographed right here, you know. You know? Every day, daughter taking out, you, you never know. You know, I have learned over the years, and I've seen something. I've, I've heard from victims that, from families who have lost their loved ones, and they always tell me, Ian, I never imagined in my wildest dream that my relative photo would have been up on your television, up on your up on your show and you would have been in my house i never imagined it. i never imagined that you would have been sitting in front of me and my and my daughter picture posted on your show because she's missing or oh, she was found dead it's just sad also ladies and gentlemen i, I just want to brought some up <coughs> a shopkeeper was shot and killed by a man who pretended to be a customer at his Robinson Street Extension Montrose home on Sunday night. 41-year-old Kit Esau Findlay was shot multiple times about the body. Multiple, multiple times. But why would anybody want to kill e Kit? Why? This is behind Central Athletic. In that road, in Montreal, behind Central Athletic, Robinson Street, just behind, Sh yeah, there's a security company at the corner, Allied Security Company, that is up on Marat Street. Hey boy. 41-year-old Kit Findlay was shot multiple times about the body while inside a mini shop at his home by a customer he was attending on Sunday. Police said around 6.45 the victim was at his home inside the shop. He operates when some, um, some came to the window. Someone came to the window and called him out. The man ordered an item and his kit turned to retrieve it. The suspect shot him multiple times through the window before fleeing. Kit died at the scene before paramedics from Shagona's fire station arrived at the scene, 21 spent shells was found. And you know, just imagine, just imagine, when these people come for you, they really come for you. You lock up your place, but you're selling from the window, a maybe a burglar proof. So can I get a, maybe what? A pack of cigarettes? You turn around. Bam, 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 21 shots. 21 shots, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what that reminds me of? Let me tell you what that reminds me of. In Pleasantville, on the November the 21st, no, November the, um, the 25th, there was a similar style of killing. Similar, similar style of killing. With, with um, Jala Hala Donaldson of Mahogany Avenue, Pleasantville, San Fernando, was conducting sales at his shop located in front of his home. S similar circumstance, when, this, when the suspect approached and ordered a pack of cigarettes and shot him. You see this fella, boy? As he turned, watch. He turned to buy it, watch. Anybody know that shooter? 
What the hell? Anybody know that shooter? This is the guy that died with the gold chain there, but anybody know the shooter in blue? Here we go for him now. I take his cigarette and he gone. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Let's take a fast break. Welcome to Wink. Your one stop for complete eye care. Today to book your appointment, 761-8737. The Digital Guardian is packed with improved features, 24-hour verified news alerts, easier navigation, and options to pre-select, customize, and bookmark your favorite stories or revisit archived editions you may have missed. The Digital Guardian, TNT's first ever interactive feature giving you access to your favorite games and puzzles on the go. Take advantage of our special introductory offer for less than 20 cents US per day. The Digital Guardian's 2022 edition. Subscribe now. During this pandemic, let Trias Medical be there for you. Refill small and large oxygen tanks in minutes at a fraction of the cost. We stock ventilators, oxygen tanks, sanitizers, cleaners and more. Open every day till 8 p.m. Visit or call any of our locations for more info. Titan Remote Control Gates Limited, the largest and most reliable gate company with over 37 years experience. Authorized distributor for Tau, Titan and Powertech Motors. We also supply video intercom, Wi-Fi gate openers, loop detectors and more. Call or visit us for more information. Drive in to Dibbles Auto Parts. Specialize in automotive spare parts for all Japanese made vehicles. Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi and more. We stock engine, suspension and body parts, headlights, tail lamps and more. We also carry the latest models of roll-on, roll-off vehicles. Our team is ready to assist, so there's no worry. Call or WhatsApp. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram or visit our three locations. Our prices and quality can't be beaten. Dibbles Auto Parts. We lead, others follow. Intimate moments a secret. Open your mind and body to new experiences. Call or WhatsApp 350-1343 to order from Sam's Secret Euphoria. Discreet delivery available. Let the pleasure begin. Attention all contractors and homeowners. Beat the rain. Get your roofing materials fast. Shop at Varma Steel and collect your materials upon purchase or have them delivered the next day. Varma Steel for high-grade roofing sheets, purlins, steel beams, flashing, guttering, chain link, BRC, and decking sheets. Free transport for purchases over $5,000. Varma Steel's high-grade roofing have a life of 40 to 50 years. Varma Steel, next to the St. Margaret's Police Station, Pleasance Park. Call 659-4008. It's Tiles, Tiles, Tiles in 2022 at Classic Tiles. Visit our warehouse or showroom with over 1,500 signature designs to choose from. Porcelain and ceramic tiles, bathroom fixtures and more. Our friendly staff is ready to answer any question. We also carry tools, accessories and more to make any job a breeze. For any building improvement project, visit us at 6411 Road, Chibunas or call 665-1547 today. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, age spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. 
To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys, and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols, and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Listen to me, what going on with the servicemen and them, boy? Yeah, what going on with the servicemen and them? I see, you remember last time one was on a, a bed fighting with a man, you remember this video? Yeah. Azaria. Meeting up somebody. Azaria. Damn. Azaria. You cannot be Azaria. Azaria, don't Aza, leave him. Get out. Out. So what are we doing here? Azaria. And then, then ladies and gentlemen, a couple of days ago, I saw another one in uniform fighting. Relax all yourself. Are you all getting like that for? Look at this one. Fire oh, man, watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. A big stone. Ryan! That's your Big army man. You know, I'm going to keep Ryan! 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 Watch him. Big army man fighting for the who? Watch him. Big army man. Watch him, Wally. Now, why ain't hitting me? Because I know my family real bad. Big army man. Hey, but tell I go for me now. You go for me now, get the gas to try. You go for me now, get the gas to try. You go for me now, get the gas to try. You go for me now, get the gas to try. You go for me now, get the gas to try. You go for me now, My family have a problem with my child, man. He's a big man. She don't have to live there. She don't have to stay there. Right? The reason why she was staying there, because down by her, have plenty of COVID victims. Plenty of people dying with COVID. Right? So for the time period that she was staying by me, until things cool long and wherever, because remember, she had my small man. And COVID is real. I don't want small man to get COVID. Family members coming home with COVID. Right? My parents don't like her. Right? For whatever reason, I don't. I don't care. Them don't have to like her. Right? So, when I came home, it had commotion and bacchanal and confusion. Mind you, a NCO, a senior NCO, keep me back from the gap, keep me, keep me back on work from coming home to deal with that situation. Right? Because he had me off. But I don't have to tell you where's my, my, my domestic problem because they just talk your problems. You understand? So, reach home, commotion in the house, talk to my mother. Mother get on a kind of way because she can't reason with she. Tell my child, mother get dressed. Let's go from here. Go out by the gate to drop her laptop. Same time. She coming out with my son in her hand, my sister, under the influence, attack her from behind, hit her in her head first. Small man fell to the ground, hit his head. Oh. While he fell on the ground, he was mashed. Right? Same time I went to take she off, she started swing punches and thing at me. I started hit her back. Mind you, she went inside. Take up a knife, come back out, stab me in my eye, hit me a vase in my head, fracture my nose, right? Fracture my nose, 
about the boon on them on them I, my, my. why didn't call the police why didn't call the police why didn't call 999 why didn't call your seniors at the at the camp to let them know you ought to you ought to understand you're wearing a uniform and you're a serviceman and people look up to you all now i'm not saying that persons in, in who wear uniform don't face challenges like a regular person and don't be in back and all and do a family back and all like regular people. But you have to understand your position. You have to understand your position. You see, people, not, people did not see what you spoke about. What people saw is when, you, is, when, is when nobody was pursuing you, nobody with a knife run you down. When you went across the road and took up big stone, your life wasn't threatened from what we saw on the video, and that's what they're gonna tell you. Well, you had time to run. So if somebody with a knife was pursuing you, you had time to jump in a vehicle or start to run up the road. And you did not do that. You went across, you pick up two big stones and gone back in the house to battle them again. And, that's what, and that is what your seniors, and that is what the police, and that, and that is how the investigation will go. Because your life was not threatened. Nobody is saying that here that you didn't sustain injuries. But the very idea, the, the very part where you walk out of that house with nobody behind you, and I tend to walk across the road and take up two big stones, look for it and go back in the house, just goes to show it was premeditated. What about if, it, if, 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 if you had hit somebody a big stone and kill them? That's similar, let me tell you, that, that's similar. That's similar to the case with, with, with the boy and the grandmother. That was yesterday, boy. In Kuvat Ev. Which one? Help him out, somebody. Yeah, that's similar because let me tell you something. Trouble comes on a horseback, but it leaves on a snail. You know? Trouble comes on a horseback because, because you go on in and you take. That's why I see something. When I see back and all and thing, and people take up cutlass and they run in and thing, and the rage in you. You might mean to, 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 to chop no, but it's, it's similar to some, uh, a case where a baby was chopped on his head. And the whole thing turned. People get charged for murder. But you are, you are no madman. I'm just saying, I because the matter before the cause. I don't want to comment too much. But just when this man take up this big stone and run in the house, trouble comes very easily. Anger, rage. Rage. It blows it, it, it blows it, 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 it blows your, your vision, your dreams, your, where you're going for, where you're living for, it blows all that. All you think is about to deal with this person, but after, what about if you had launched a stone and somebody got hit in the head, similar to this boy with his grandmother? And, and, just, and just as he said, his blood was shot. And let me tell you something, I know this little boy, you see this little boy here? I know this little boy in Apram, a stroller, Jaden. I know Jaden. I know Jaden's mother personally. Personally. I know Jaden in a stroller. She pushing Jaden in a stroller. Yeah. His mother, really nice girl. I know the grandmother also. June. Der Paul. I know Ju I I know June Der, Der Paul. But it's sad. It's it's sad. It's sad. It's sad because look at this little boy life. I, I mean I, I really feel hurt for the I mean the mother, the mother. I feel hurt for her. The mother of, 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 of the young man who's in prison right now. My heart goes out. But again, homicide, I'm just to let you know, homicide officers, I expect you to upgrade their charge of assault. I beat into murder. They're going to upgrade, because let me tell you, it was an assault on the grandmother. And now the grandmother died as a result of the beating. Now it's murder. Shh. Against 22-year-old Jaden Derpaul, who was charged with allegedly beating his grandmother, 75-year-old June Derpaul in December 2021. The report of Nan and Trace Prisal Village Coover was attacked while at her home on December 31st, 2021 and was discovered in a pool of blood by relatives. 
she was taken to Coover District Health, Health Facility, treated and transferred to San Fernando General Hospital, but she died on Thursday. The report grand song Jaden was subsequently arrested and charged by Detective Hussein of Coover CID with assault and was remanded into custody by Coover Magistrate. Officers recently went to the remand prison to visit their Paul, but were told that he was in isolation after he tested positive. But nevertheless, the charge of assault by beating was upgraded to murder. And let me tell you something, yeah? I will tell you this today. I ain't shining up nobody, yeah? The whole, that whole situation just sad. The mother of that boy, 10 out of 10, that woman, I, I don't want to call her name on television, that boy couldn't get a better mother than that girl. Never. The, the grandmother, super nice, decent people. The boy, I don't know what possessed him. I don't know what took him over. I don't know if it's a substance. I don't know. I don't know. But things happen. I saw the grandmother. Brandy grandmother went to talk to him. And look at that boy who life just turned around. Tur just went, boy, it just, I can't find words. I can't find words. When I spoke to his mother, when I spoke to his mother, she, huh. and if somebody handed me a phone eh, and tell me, you know, who, you know who I know? And they said, I know that girl. I said, who the girl is that? They said, no, the girl, real good man, you're a good friend. And when she came, I said, oh my God, are you going here? What's the latest? What's going on? I ain't seen you around. I told him, she started to give me this story. It's just sad. It's just sad. It's just sad. Let's take a fast break. Drive in to Dibbles Auto Parts. Specialize in automotive spare parts for all Japanese made vehicles Nissan, Toyota, Mitsubishi, and more. We stock engine, suspension, and body parts, headlights, tail lamps, and more. We also carry the latest models of roll on, roll off vehicles. Our team is ready to assist, so there's no worry. Call or WhatsApp. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram or visit our three locations. Our prices and quality can't be beaten. Dibbles Auto Parts. We lead, others follow. The Big Bazaar Dome at Mid Centre Mall Shagornas opened with a bang. Be sure to visit and check out the local and foreign merchants. Get high fashion garments, footwear, home decor, jewelry, toys, puja items, mobile accessories, kitchenware, appliances, and so much more. You name it, we have it. Come shop in AC Comfort, ample parking, opening hours, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, including weekends and holidays. The Big Bazaar Dome at Mid Centre Mall Shagornas, your one stop shop. Be sure to check us out today. VJ Small Engine Repairs offer quality products at affordable prices. Walkers, chainsaws, water pumps and more. We carry replacement parts for all brands. Our expert technicians are well equipped to repair anything. Call, come in or check us out on Facebook for combo deals and more. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. You know, ladies and gentlemen, today I could have been lying in this casket dead. I have lost so many friends. It is unbelievable. They stood right in front of me saying, Ian, I am not going to take that vaccine. You shouldn't take it. But today, they all passed away. They all died and gone. You want to be there for your family? Take the vaccine. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ian Allen. It's not a ledge, it's a fact. I am alive. Please don't hesitate. Vaccinate. That could have been me going there, but I'm alive. As you can see. Vaccinate today, live tomorrow. Neo Eyewear presents its latest designer eyewear collection. Come in and see our new arrivals of Versace, Giorgio Armani, Michael Kors, Coach, Ray-Ban, Kate Spade, Fossil, Marc Jacobs, Boss, DKNY, Nine West, and much more. Call us at 390-3196 or 672-5052. Find us on Facebook. We carry one of the largest selection of spectacle frames in the country, over 1,300 frames to choose from. St. Rose Funeral Services. We don't just say we care, we show that we care. 24-7 removal services, international shipping and embalming, pre-planned funeral arrangements with complete burial or cremation, locally made caskets and coffins customized for your loved ones, wreath, floral arrangements, programs, prayer cards and mourners vehicles, maxi your car all provided for your family's comfort. When you're leaving, leave in style. St. Rose Funeral Services, number 5 Bazalon Street, Tunapuna, 645-1075-337-9686. Allow us to honor your family members. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside Fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. Hey, I want to say happy birthday to Jason, to Jason Wilson, and um, he, uh, but, um, from his from Joshua and Julissa, said, they said Daddy loved them. He, here you see, with his two kids here, Joshua and Jalissa. All right, so happy birthday to you, Jason. Jason, some of my good friends from South, you know, we all lined together. Peter, um, <laughs> Peter, um, well, Jason, myself, Damian, like we took out another picture here, Lyman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Lakis, Jason. Tomorrow's day, um, Saturday's Damian's birthday also. Yeah, look Damien here, the guy on the, the, guy on the, um, the left, with the black t-shirt. Saturday is his birthday, that's Damien. You know, if I tell you something, what is wrong with um, director? You know, ladies and gentlemen, um, scores of PTSD bus drivers who operate the San Fernando Port Spin Road has stayed off their job for the second consecutive days, leaving school children and pensioners who mostly rely on the service stranded. Out of 24 bus drivers are rusted to work out of San Fernando uh, Depot uh, earlier today. Only four of them showed up. Way. So apparently it's wage negotiations. In a press statement issued to the P PTSC confirmed industrial action was being taken by bus drivers and advised commuters to rely on its service to use alternative modes of transport. You know, ladies and gentlemen, outside in the world, outside in the world, we would have already, they would have already come out. Somebody would have maybe, that, that falls under who? Which ministry, the, the, Rohan, the, 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 the Minister of Works, would have already come out and say, okay, we realize that there's a problem we are facing. It's a second day. Is it? Get people to drive the bus, that is all. Get people to, yeah. Do it. Because you, you can have children stranded on the road and the elderly and school reopen on Monday. And they, I mean, I have no problem with it. Okay, I have no problem with that. But outside in the world, that, that is what they would have done. That is what I would have done. Okay, we would have had discussion with respect to wage negotiation or whatnot with the bus driver. But by the time, what, it, what is paramount of importance is the commuters. And as you can see, they're stranded and up to now. Yeah, yeah, nothing. I don't want to read no press statement. The bus had to roll, the bus had to roll to pick up people. But nobody will come out, nobody don't care because their children now with them, I know about stop. And imagine, imagine, they know how people, so, so much people are missing. 
This young girl body now found in um, Heights of a repo. People sh should even, I mean, people scared to take vehicles and whatnot, taxis and, and, and PH and whatnot. Be cautious, say the picture the driver. Make sure before you go picture the car and everything and send it to relatives one time. As you board the car, let them know. You know, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, on, fr on, on Saturday, I met with the executive for the NCC. I met with um, Ms. Rosalind Gabriel, one of the commissioners here, for, uh, for Mass, Colin Lucas, the CEO, um, Winston Gypsy Peters, also Clyde Ch um, Charles, the yeah, guy who's in charge of security. And a lot of people ask, they say, but what are you doing down? Get your mash up all of them. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We could come here and mash you up, but I just wanted to find out. And, and I told them all that. I, I said, listen to me. Let me hear about this mass. Because I, you realize it's going on with full speed. But so people would like to know what's going on. And you might ask, well, how you can mash them up and then go and meet them the next day? Well, that's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Don't, nobody, don't take it personal. And I told them that. That same 15 million, but, they, but somebody there made, made a point to me. If the NCC can approach government and tell them we want money for carnival, they lobbied. Why the Minister of Health does not lobby for his frontline workers? Why he does not put pressure on the government, put pressure on the finance minister, put pressure on the prime minister and say, prime minister, I am, I am in charge of the doctors and the nurses. They are my people and I am seeking. I, listen to me, we need money to give them. And put pressure, put pressure, lobby for them. He never did that. You know what he lobbied for? To give them a pan of biscuit. To give them a pound of biscuit. So everybody's lobbying for their own agencies. And that is what's, and that exactly is what's happening with the NCC. They lobbied. They lobbied. And they lobbied with a high budget, but they only got 15. And they have three events. They have Napa. They have um, Queens, um, Queens Hall. And the Carnival City, which is in the Savannah. So I decided, ladies and gentlemen, let me go along and find out from these people. So it's a 20 minutes interview. So I'll see how much I can play with I, I can play today for you to understand what went on. And also, ladies and gentlemen, um Tobago uh sorry, I'm trying to get it here. Tobago House of Assembly also, just imagine, yeah? Just, just, just imagine, Tobago House of Assembly is looking for land on the island to construct its own prison. Chief Secretary Farley Augustine, uh, speaking at Wednesday post-executive news briefing, said Tobago have its own... Tobago's having its own prison on the island will not only benefit prisoners as well, include re uh, restorative justice, but their relatives so they won't have to make journey to Trinidad. Remember, remember every time you had to go to Trinidad, you, let's say your, your relative commit a crime, whatever, something serious, something very heinous, and they had to travel to, to, to Trinidad because it's Trinidad, they, they, they house them. So that's an excellent idea. So it will be swift justice. You understand? They wouldn't have to wait that long. You commit crime, you're sentenced in Tobago. And that's what they're doing right now. They're going to build their own prison. I think before we say Jack Robinson, I feel the way out there running. <laughs> Take care. It could just be Trinidad just now. Right? It could just be Trinidad. It will just be Trinidad. The way out there running in Tobago so good. Take care. I don't know, boy. I, I, I don't know. So ladies and gentlemen, you can't get upset. After, oh, okay. Also, ladies and gentlemen, after crushing a defeat at the, at, at the December 6th, after crushing defeat at December 6th, the THA election, the Tobago House, um, the, in fact, the Tobago Council of the People's National Movement will host executive election on April the 24th. That will be very interesting. For, sem for 17 executive positions within the party, well, I, I wouldn't read all that right now for you, but, ne but nevertheless, 
That's what's happening in Tobago. The Tobago um, PNM um, executive election in Tobago. Yeah, for 17 positions. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you respect to the carnival, and you know what? I've been honest with you. I've been well honest with you. You have to be careful out there. You realize with even with the with the um the pods, what they said, it could take about nine to twelve. You can carry your food, carry your cooler, and no congregating, and they only cater for twelve hundred people. Yeah, it was very yeah. you see sometimes, let me explain something here. People stay away from people who make bacchanal, who everything is rah rah rah. You'll realize activists who, who, vie, who want to get into politics and they want to be prime minister and they want to be this one and they want to be that one in the, you know, in the, in the corridors of, of power in, in this country. You can't be just rah, rah, rah every day. You have to position yourself because people... There, there comes a time where your own people stay away from you. So what I have noticed, and I am doing, I have positioned myself, as much as I am dealing with the issue, I am confronting those who are, who are involved with the issues that we are, we are highlighting right here. Understand me. It has nothing to do with party. It has nothing to do with politics. Absolutely nothing. I am dealing with issues. I am not dealing with rah 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 and bacchanal let's go straight to it i'm good i'm good well as you can well, see i had to, to get full sound view you know full sound view on what's happening of course well you go see we, we go in full speed ahead uh-huh these here are the pods uh-huh go ahead we do them the pods we do these pods uh -huh. to to attain maximum safety uh -huh. in terms of people people's mm -hmm, safety mm -hmm. okay. some of these pods are designed to hold six persons so you mm -hmm. can get you can get the, these um, are the pods these are the pods uh -huh. so you can get the um the distance and well, some I realize about the eight feet and some are, some are designed to hold mm -hmm. some of the, some of these pods are designed to hold nine persons mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. we would be there would be chairs in here you can see they're very comfortable well laid out and all. Mm -hmm. we are going to put seating in the, in the pods uh -huh. But allowing congreg any, any congregating in the not aisles. Not at that all. That is what I want to find. Not the at aisles, all. In the eyes of these And pods. that's the reason why we put Are you, these would, aisles Would you so be far? having congregate, you know, people congregating? None whatsoever. Nobody will be able to congregate to here. Congregate. Your congregation will be taking in place here. inside the pod. So I can move my chair. I can move my chair a little bit. Well, we would not advise it. <laughs> we would not advise it. But I am. it's a human being who, who is sitting in here. And somebody might want to move the chair to be uh, more comfortable. And I don't think anybody could do anything about that. Or I don't think anybody should attempt to do anything mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. that. Because at the end of the day, this inside here mm -hmm. is designed for vaccinated persons mm -hmm. only. We six feet apart, it is going to be six feet, six apart. feet apart. Yes. Everything inside of here is done to the so COVID regulation. you have a lot regulation. of security to maintain that order. Lots of security. All the security that we have hired are from Trinidad and Tobago. Okay. So we are paying you people. Given, you have given our people first. We are paying. Well, we are bringing nobody from anywhere. Yeah. All the monies that are being spent here mm -hmm. are spent on the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Some of them have been working two years. Mm -hmm. Some of these people you see putting up these things and doing all this construction here, along with the singers and dancers, and all the other persons who are going to be here haven't done anything in this country for two years. The cost to build these pods on them, it is way past your budget. Well, the, the, I, I wouldn't I mean, say that. I, I mean, I mean, to, to put the, I mean I'm, I'm looking at the logistics. Well, I wouldn't. I'm uh, at the it it, it yeah. is. It looks it's like a that. Lot, it's a lot. It is a lot. It is a lot. Are you all going to get some private? Uh, well, we are because the government told us that we should. Mm -hmm, and okay. right now we have our own financial finance committee mm -hmm. that is doing exactly that. We are seeking to have all the um the necessary whatever we can get from wherever we can you get know, it i know you're long time of course you're sure going as boy yeah and i'll tell you this i'm not angry with you mm. and the people who are looking at us right now the only concern they had mr peters is that the funds allocated for this carnival we were just thinking about the frontline people in the medical arena that's all well, the doctors, the nurses. Well, of course, the people, we are thinking about them too because uh -huh. you'll be surprised to know 
that normally on Carnival Monday night in this very said venue, we have something called a very successful event called Brass Bacchanal. I know Brass Bacchanal. And we have converted Brass Bacchanal into a commemorative and an appreciation event for the frontline. The medical. For all the frontline yeah. persons, whether it be the medical, Doctors, the, police. The, the police, the army, yeah. all the people who have kept us safe and toiled for so long, they are free to come in here Carnival Monday night. Okay. Free. All you have to do is just show your vaccination your card and show, and show your ID. Your and even any bands. No street parade. No street parade whatsoever. So, so we have a stage. Well, we have a stage to put on all the things. We have panorama. Panorama. We have panorama. We have the King and Grave. We have the Marsh Grave. We mm -hmm. have kings and queens of the bands. Mm -hmm. We have individuals. We have all the things. Darling, I have with me, I have my CEO. How are you, sir? I'm quite well. It's such and an I honor do to have, have yeah. my commissioner. Come, ma'am. Yes. And I do have the NCC Gabriel, Chief Ms. of Security. Rosalind Gabriel. Yeah, yes. I know your son well. I and the Andrew. NCC Chief of Security. Hi, sir. Well, yeah, I must right. say, I don't want to leave you, then I must apologize because I just No, no, that's what you just came you to know, me, but I, I was going yeah. to do it yeah. because you yeah. came to me and you started but talking. I must say, Charles. Clyde Charles, Clyde Charles, and you are? And I'm the head of Security National Carnival Commission. Great, go ahead. And there's an extensive security plan where uh -huh. here is conducted. Even yesterday, we had a meeting with the Trans Tobago Police Service headed by the Which Acting I Commissioner of Police, mm -hmm. Mr. MacDonald Jacob. Great. And these here, these pods are going to be divided into three sections. Mm -hmm. And the section is going to be manned individually by different security to ensure compliance. Mm -hmm. Reminding that everyone that we have a command center here. Uh -huh. So from the command center space, all these cameras that is around here. Mm -hmm. what, what we have in place is that, for instance, I'm just uh, making for instance, and, yeah. and we are hoping the Trinidadians, our nationals, yeah. behave themselves. Oh, okay. Just for... Let's see, uh, this, these pods can take like how, how many people? Some can Small take ones. six persons and some are designed to take nine persons. Mrs. Gabriel, I am a carnival person. What about the, I decide now to go into our next pod and even though they have the max on, 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 on that, um, it's not a lot. That would not be allowed. Can you give me your yeah. full name on your portfolio, ma'am? Roslyn Gabriel. I'm president of the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival Bands Association uh -huh. and I am the commissioner for mass on the TTCBA board. Mm -hmm. I represent mm -hmm. mass on the board. Okay, great. On a given on on other carnivals, this would have been a thousand. Six thousand. Oh, sure. But this year we just catering for twelve hundred in the pods. In All right. On this side. On this mm -hmm. You are in portfolio. Your name and portfolio. Colin Lucas. Um, yeah. CEO yeah. of the NCC. <laughs> well, you all right? I am fine. Thanks. Well, you look well. You look well. You look well. You haven't aged at all. Mama guy, I would no, take I'm it. Not, I'm not mama guy. Yeah. Go ahead, let me hear. Yeah. So, mm. on, on this. You know, Colin Lucas, the CEO. That's the guy who was saying. Um, what was the song he sang many years ago? Hey, yes, he said. I think for the brain in back there, that's not the man who sang that song. That's the one who that's the man who sang the dollar the dollar wine. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, if I drunk, you don't call all you know. Seriously. <laughs> and um the dollar wine guy. But um Rosalind Gabriel, she made a real good point. They're like, but it was good, it was good. And some of you might ask, well, oh, you end up meeting these people. And I told them, I said, listen to me. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know how I get this money. And, but again, 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 I'm sure that there are people who, who will go to Carnival. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, relax. Just remember, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, but um, nevertheless, do you see tomorrow? I want to play. I want, uh, there's about 10 minutes with, 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 the, with, the, with the commissioner, um, Rosen Gabriel, and Gypsy, and um, Colin Lucas. They, they made some good points and whatnot. And for those of you who might want, really want to go and get the pod and get in contact with NCC and maybe see a show and whatnot, very interesting. You know, and you see tomorrow, tomorrow I know some of you missing the little carnival and, and going to the tents and whatnot. I have decided, and this, I just decided, you know what? Let me bring a little artist here on an artist here on a Friday. A little bit, and just for, just to sing a little song and go up the road. That is it. No course, no course. 
If I, you know, who, who contact Eddie and Eddie and Sneaky. Not, not my whole show. Yeah, just letting you know. I'll, I'll let ten minutes. Just a ten to fifteen minutes. So some of you could just relax and just take in a little vibe and whatnot. I think, you know, just just take it in a little bit. It's just a taste. You're gonna taste some me. You're gonna taste the show. Let's take a fast break. Keep intimate moments a secret. Open your mind and body to new experiences. Call or WhatsApp 350-1343 to order from Sam's Secret Euphoria. Discreet delivery available. Let the pleasure begin. Advanced Tent and Septic Cleaning. We manufacture, rent and sell the highest quality tents at affordable prices. Call us today to book an appointment to have your septic cleaning needs met with quick, reliable service. Located at 130 Monroe Road, Columbia or call us today. The Big Bazaar Dome at Mid Center Mall Shagornas opened with a bang. Be sure to visit and check out the local and foreign merchants. Get high fashion garments, footwear, home decor, jewelry, toys, puja items, mobile accessories, kitchenware, appliances, and so much more. You name it, we have it. Come shop in AC Comfort, ample parking, opening hours 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, including weekends and holidays. The Big Bazaar Dome at Mid Center Mall Shagornas, your one stop shop. Be sure to check us out today. Me, two things I do without my coffee and my guardian. I really look forward to doing my guardian paper today. It helps me do my best and as an SEA student, I need it for my practice. I'm always looking for the latest deals for my business. The Guardian classifies the perfect source for that. The Guardian caters for all people. As a businesswoman in these times, I need a paper that I can rely on. That's why my choice is Guardian. Hey, you wouldn't believe, since COVID-19 has pushed me real far away from cricket. I read in this Guardian newspaper here, I feel close after my sport. Guardian of the People. We at SNS Prasad know the struggles and fears of our beloved customers during this time. To guarantee the safety of our customers and employees, we have implemented routine cleaning of all our stations, lanes, trolleys and baskets, security to ensure the observation of COVID protocols and sanitizing stations throughout the grocery. We ensure our shelves are always fully stocked with a wide variety of cooking, cleaning, household and clothing items to meet the needs of your treasured family. For your convenience and safety, you can call and collect through curbside pickup or get one of our to-go bags containing the basic necessities or even better, place an order for your groceries and have it delivered to your doorstep where we accept both cash and links. SNS Passat, Rio Claro and Mayaro, we are here for you. Stuff and Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Shigwana's First World Drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament held in water, mara beans imported directly from Italy, bottled Nexium, Allegra, Zitec, Gourmet Foods and snacks. A selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. Uh, open, open up the lines for me really fast. You know, there was a... So, just to let you know, that's what I'll be doing. And you say, uh, why just fighting, fighting, and back and all in the other position, yes, uh, people take you serious. Advertisers, other, other advertisers will take you... People take you serious. It's not about making just back and all, back and all, but, but highlighting the issues. And I'm going after those who are involved, who contribute to the issue. And I'm going after them and meeting with them. You know, I want to say um, happy, happy belated. I'm sorry, I didn't mention my sister yesterday. Yesterday was her birthday, attorney Dana Allen. All right, there's a photograph we took earlier's night. Yeah, this is an earlier's night photograph. And there's a photograph now. Well, okay, what, what was this, a collage? Just a picture of her alone, please. All right, yeah. You know, it's amazing, yeah? It's amazing. This girl has been through so much. And look, where, look how far she has reached today. She worked for a prominent law firm in Port of Spain. That's the same girl who danced and all that kind of thing. And, you know, and the whole, the whole of Trinidad condemned her. I was just thinking, I was just thinking, I say, you know, and so many things happen. And never, and never, you see, you see, when you purpose in your heart, 
And you position yourself. It's all about positioning yourself. Today, she's, a, she's an attorney. I'm so proud of her. Really, really proud of her. Nice girl. So happy birthday, Dana. I'm sorry. I, I think I, talk, I called her yesterday. I can't even remember my head. Was, I was my, real busy. And I must see a couple of my mother and then my vex with me that didn't come over for the eat no cake and thing. Hi, caller. Good evening. Your life on Crime Watch. You know, there was a fellow who was. Good evening, Mr. Ian Allen. Good evening. Yes. Um, I want to congratulate the NTC and win some pieces. You have for pulling off this um, piece of carnival in less than two years. Uh -huh. But after one year, they cannot get camera and they cannot get lights and they cannot get um, patrol for a repo. And what is, what, is, what is interesting, the MP for that area is a woman. And in one year time, two ladies. So the, Not one so, year, in two weeks. Exactly, in two weeks, and then from last year as well. So, you know, so if, if you said, as I said, they, they, could, um, they could get the money, what's preventing no. Penelope yes. Beckers from lobbying to get things done for a repo? Thank you. No, yes. Thank you, that's an excellent point. So, you see, just by not, not only mashing up, mashing up people, going and finding out, see what's going on. You see how people now can say, well, if they could do that, well, then put pressure on the government now so the government will realize, well, let me make sure and give Penelope Beckel stuff. Let me make sure and give this one. If we're doing for Carnival, let's make sure now Dial Singh. So Dial Singh could come now and say, well, I want money. But he wouldn't do that. They wouldn't lobby. They wouldn't press. They wouldn't press for the ministry. That's what he did. Press for your ministry. There was a case where, um, there was a case where, uh, in fact, just to let you know, the St. Lucia Prime Minister, the Honorable, uh, Philip Pierre, J. Pierre, has tested positive for COVID-19 virus, becoming the third Caribbean leader to contract the virus. In a statement, the studio the officer of the Prime Minister, and Lucia said, February, uh, Pierre received a positive PCR test result as per public health protocols. Also, the, so we had three um, Caribbean leaders. We had the Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, who was, test, who was positive on the 6th of April, 2021. We had the Belize uh, Prime Minister, John Brasino, who tested positive for the virus on two separate occasions in November 2020. So very, very interesting. And also, ladies and gentlemen, there's a case where a man was, was found outside the police station. This is in a... Um, they reported a 21-year-old man identified as a collapse, as Shaquille collapsed and died outside the Mon Moriah Police Station in Tobago moments after lodging a report against a man he accused of beating him and raping him. Reports said that the victim had made numerous reports against the suspect to the police, but the police never took his complaint seriously. I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to call Snakey and call um, Eddie. Eddie Charles. I'll let them come and do two songs so you can just smile a little bit. All right? I have to position here. I have to position here. Good night. There's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing. It's the last thing on the mind. Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop.